Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. Welcome to my garden. On today's episode, I'm going to build two cold frames for nothing. Well, relatively nothing. The screws I bought were for another project, but uh, I didn't have to spend anything today to do it. The windows were generously gifted to me from a friend who was redoing some windows at a property, and I've, uh, I've reclaimed this wood from another project. So I'm absolutely new to cold frames. So what I thought I would do is I would build a couple of them and try them out in the spring and then see if I can extend my spring and my summer seasons to harvest more from my garden. In order to do that, I thought it would be neat to bring along a max min, th min thermometer. And so what this will do is I'll put one in the cold frame, one outside the cold frame to see what the temperature difference is from ambient to inside the cold frame are. And of course, I'll document it and let you know. So without ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove any loose paint. We don't want that getting in the garden. And this, uh, this chisel should work fairly well for doing that. It is fairly tight on there. And then we're going to sand it. Um, there'll likely still be paint on here and I'll just have to keep an eye to make sure that it's not flaking anymore. And then sometime in the future I'll, I'll seal this with a, a non-toxic uh, paint just to make sure that everything just stays in there and is encapsulated and doesn't get into my garden soil at all. So for the backstop, I'm using a 2x8 and it is 28 inches. Fortunately, I don't have a metric well, uh, measuring tape. 28 inches. This is probably the best tool I've ever found for cutting straight without a, a chop type saw. It's got a little lip, sits flat, straight down. And so this is a straight cut and we'll show you in a second and I'll do the same for the front part. Um, the two side ones is actually gonna be an angled cut. And that's fairly easy to measure. So you'll notice we want to put this on a slant uh, towards the sun. So what you'll notice here is this board is much higher than this board. And that's, that's on purpose. So in order to get the angle we want, we'll mark a line here and draw that all the way back to the back of this board where it will meet its original height. And we'll just cut that off. So because this one is butting up against both of these, uh, for the entire width, you're going to want to make sure that you cut three inches off the end here. And the reason is, is because this one doesn't need to be as long as the frame on the glass. So what we're going to do here, is we're going to take a piece of wood, we've marked our line, and we're just going to use it to line up with the corner on the one side. And you can use a, a level if you like, and as long as you get kind of a straight-ish line. It that's what we'll cut and that, that'll give us the angle we're looking for. Prior to screwing anything in here, what I've done is I've dry fit, looks good. Uh, now I'll take the window off and grab my drills. So we're going to pre-drill the holes. And what that helps you do is avoid cracking uh, when you drive the screw home. So you just wanna make sure that the frame is nice and flush. And uh, then swap out batteries, because my other one is too hot. I'm just using two and a half inch uh, decking screws for this. You can use pretty well any screw that holds. This is what I had lying around. Don't want to drive that in too hard. Fortunately, when I recycled these, I took the screws out, and so these ones are already pre-drilled. Just make sure it's flush on the side. And that's it. I'm just gonna drive a third one in here, finish the rest of the corners, and we'll come back. So now we're gonna put hinges on. Mostly because I didn't want this frame sitting inside the glass because the glass is fairly old. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach hinges like this. In order to pre-drill, I'm going to mark where the holes are. And 
and pre-drill just a little bit. And what we're going to do is take one and an inch or one and a quarter screws. If you're actually taking these hinges off, they often come with uh, screws themselves. Unfortunately, when I recycled these hinges, I immediately put them into the screws into my assorted screw pile. So the easiest thing to do with a hinge is make sure that the hinge is going outwards. And tap that in, not all the way. The far one. That one can go in. That one could go in. And we'll just finish up. We'll put one here, one there, and finish up. So here we are, all done. I finished up the cold frames. So I've got one on the strawberry bed and one of my grapes behind here. I'll probably move that one, but it fits perfectly in that bed. So what I've done is I've got the, these two uh, maximum thermometers. The one that's outside is showing 11 degrees Celsius or 60 Fahrenheit. And I've got them in the shade so that uh, the, the sun isn't directly beating on them. Let's go to the one on, in here. It is showing 20 degrees Celsius, which is uh, I want to say 75. No, it only took me about 20 minutes to build the second one of these after I had finished filming for the first one. It's about 20 minutes. This project cost me zero dollars in an hour. It's already 10 degrees warmer in here. So I mean, uh, I'm already impressed. I figured I'd give a shout out to Wayne. He, uh, he told me he's never seen me in a hat, so here's my gardening hat. I usually take it off to actually shoot in the garden, but I usually wear it because I'm, uh, I'm a lobster if uh, not protected. Thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it very much. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. If you'd like to continue the conversation, please join us on Google Plus and Facebook. Those can be found in the description below. Have a great day.